Oh, now uh, I have this project already created. I name this torrent recruit. Let me open it. Um, as you can see, uh, it's only the design of it. It's not. It's not implemented in the code. I only have those the interfaces specified in the requirement. The login page. The sign up applicant page and the recruiter page. For the sign up is the regular simple uh, uh, component text box button link label and also here in job application there is only this label this text box and this one is a it's not a normal text box but uh, um, a date time picker you can type date time this one as you can see if i bring it like this it's like a date you have to choose the date i don't i'm not going to type the date um, manually i have to choose from this one so here instead of full name i made a mistake it uh, should be date of pass Now, field of expertise, and this one is a combo box. Combo box, combo box, like this one. And then also, this one is a rich, it's a rich text box, not regular text box like this one. This one is named rich text box, rich text box, so that you can put a lot of input. This one looks like this. It's much bigger than the other one, than the regular text box. Then, also the this data grid view, I'm going to display some information. You can get it from here, the grid view. Yeah, that's all. How does the regular buttons? Now, it's only the design. Done. Also, this applications management. I have this filtering uh, uh, options. I'm going to filter by application status, approved or rejected. This will be a combo box. Filter by job position. Then, uh, yeah, by job positions. So here, I'm going to show you how you can add uh, manually. Uh, content to filter with, with. So when you click here, this is a data grid view as well. So when you click here, there is this arrow. I can click this, then edit items. So here I'm going to put approve, reject and so on as, as much as they want okay so this will be the data by default they are inside already then here uh job positions i'm going to retrieve them from the database because i have the table containing job positions but there's no need of making the database to for the statuses you can just put them manually save and also let me show you so in the back end there's nothing for now as you can see, there's nothing. So I'm going to show you also there is a common error you have when you, with your designs. For example, by mistake, I come here on this component or any button, or let's say this component, I double click by accident. As you can see, this event is created and you say oh i made a mistake and then you want to delete it as you can see my form is fine but if i delete this one you're going to see the error you usually have let me delete it like this when i come back to form it's like this i think this is not the first time you see this 
So the reason why is because you are deleting a method, yet it's already in the properties event. So the perfect way to do it is to is to not delete from here. Let me control Z to undo. Save. It's coming back. Don't delete the method the event from here. You have to go on the component you have clicked to to create that event. Like we right click properties. You go here events. As you can see, there is this event repo for click. And when you go into your backend, you can see the image, the name, the before click. And so how then can I delete it? If I'm okay, if you click it by by accident, maybe if you can just keep it there, there's no problem. You can keep it here. But if you just want to delete it, if you don't want it, you can do the way I'm going to show you properties. Then you select this one, you just delete. After deleting, you click enter. Then you save. Uh, after saving, I can come then here and delete this method as you be deleted. Save. I save, and my design is still here. So I think next time you're not going to have the same problem. There are issue. If the method is there by accident, you can keep it there. But if you want to delete it, that's the way you can do. Alright, now we can go to the implementation starting by the sign up. But before I'm going to name my component for easy access, starting by this sign up Xbox text. Uh, email txt then name it email box password box um, next is a uh, button Um, create btn. So for you, you can pause the video. You can pause the video, then design the same design as mine. Uh, before you proceed with the, because I designed before so that I can save the time. Uh, then this one, link label, I can keep it like that, yeah, let me keep it done. So this is the sign up, you can pause, then you design your sign up like this way or anyhow you want. Then this is the login as well, you can pause, then design it anyhow you want. And this is going to be email looks like the other one. Password box is also login. It's here. Voila. Uh, yeah, this is it. Then in the applicant as well, you can pause, then design, you can design the same design. Let me check if this recording. Yeah, it's recording, I think. Yeah. Okay, you can pause, design the same design. Oh, you see, I may try, I double click by, by mistake. The method is here, let me do it now. Okay, let me, let's do the way we say it. What is it, applicant? Applicant. So it's common to make mistake, like you double click on something, they to create an event. So as you can see, I wanted to right click then it's today the double tap, then the, the event is created. Text change event. Let me remove it. Properties, event, it's here. So each event is like for the click event is around here. That one is for property change, text changed. Yeah. 
again. Okay. Voilà. Sometimes it's even deleted by itself, but basically, as you can see, it's removed by itself. So I was, I was renaming my component. It's here, properties, not in event. This one's going to be full name box. Email box. It's going to be DLB books. This can be feared as expertise feared books. This is going to be job position books. Position books and then description books. Sky. <coughs> Summit books. The meat books. This one that agrees you renaming it or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, I can keep it like that. Withdraw person. Withdraw ETN. Update ETN. And then this for the applicant, for the recruiter, it's you things. This one is status, status uh, selector box, status box is going to be find by status button. Position, position box, find my position box, and position box. For the full name here, so full name box. Email box approve box and the review box this box security head. This nice box. Reject. Return. So the reason why I'm having a full name and email here is because, okay, this will be the list of applications. So if I want, I will click on the one applicant. Their full name will come here, email will come here, so that it can be easily uh, when I want to approve or open and if you reject. So I reject based on the email or approve based on the email. So also you can post this one, it's designed like the same way. Fine. After this, I think it's then I'm gonna go to the backend. 